I've always had a pretty difficult time like focusing on, on things for a long time, like on, on completing tasks. And I think a lot of that has kind of had to do with the fear of either failing or the fear of completing something. And so for me, that's been a problem even with, with my cycling. So I pick up on things pretty quickly. The music with any kind of like tactile sport or anything like that, especially anything that has to do, you know, with kind of finesse and aerobics. But once it gets hard, I kind of move on pretty quickly. Like, <laughs> that's just always been a habit of mine. It's just like, okay, get to the point where like you can get through it with like natural raw talent. And then when it comes down to having to like really stop and work hard, um, that was always something that was very difficult for me to, to actually like break through and do. So I would just quit. You know, when I started racing as an elite and I started racing as like, okay, this is gonna be a job. Then it became like a little bit too real at points and I was like, oh, okay, let's distract myself. Like, you know, it's habitual. It's something that gets in my way over and over and over. Cycles of self-doubt or cycles of figuring out subconsciously how to get out of completing something. Cycle of giving myself an out to not try. And I've done that with cycling. Um, I've done that with everything else leading up to this. So breaking myself of that was really important. I had to reach out to my peers, I had to reach out to my my coach and everyone involved with that. I got a psychologist, you know, I started reading a lot more on it. not necessarily one way to break that cycle or one way to break the negative cycle of general depression or performance anxiety or whatever it may be, completion anxiety, like, but finding like multiple ways to deal with that became like my, my preoccupation. And that in itself was pretty scary. I, I just want to complete this one thing, but then when you realize that not completing things is actually like an entire part of your personality, then that becomes like an even bigger overarching, like daunting task. <laughs> I've always been one to not necessarily like be into spirituality. And so things like yoga and things like meditation and religion and so on that have to deal with becoming spiritual in a way have been very difficult for me to, to kind of broach and get into because I just, I find them cheesy. <laughs> but that is honestly part of it. It's part of like that embracing with meditation, with yoga, with therapy, like just being able to like, just break with your ego, right? And just, and let that go. Um, just find some humility <laughs> and be able to like get into those things allowed me to then start meditating and start doing that on kind of a regular basis. When I learned to meditate, I learned to stop the things that were going on, stop the cycles that were going on in my head, stop the cycles that were going on around me, take a step back and from the situations, take a step back from like my thoughts and all those things and then and then refocus to get back to a task. It's one of those things where like the more you allow yourself to not complete things, then that becomes this like part of who you are again. So just getting out of bed is like a completion for me. And then just like getting through breakfast and getting my emails done, that's a completing thing. So then getting on the bike at a certain time to get out, to get the work that I need to be done done is a completion. I'm not religious, but I do see what is there. I see why why deities exist, why, why practices exist, why the difference between like praying and meditating aren't that far off. I think like dedicating your life to something greater is great, but you also have to dedicate your life to yourself because you also have to see that the mirror should be back on you. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be like mirroring off of someone else. And that's where I've found my own like kind of personal religion in, in meditation and in my spirituality is like finding your goodness. You know, the whole like you're, you're born a sinner is just you're born flawed and like that's okay you're allowed to be but if you forgive yourself and you have that forgiveness daily you can do anything with that for me if i can go into nature and i can go see that everything is just like flawed everything like you go to the river or you go into the woods and everything is growing crooked and weird and like the moss doesn't grow the same way every time and stuff dies like everything is just chaos <laughs> and it's, it's very representative of my life and of like 
who you are as a person that like your beard doesn't grow in right and like your femurs are different lengths and you didn't graduate high school and like you know all of these things but like it's still nature it's still gonna grow it's still a forest and it's still a river and it's still gonna flow and like I'm still a person and like <laughs> that's where I found it and that's sometimes I have to stop and I'm like I'm on a ride and I'm like frazzled and I'm like man this is shit just doesn't make any sense and I pull over you know like hang out in the sound of water, the sound of moving water, the sound of like a waterfall or things like that, they've always drawn like thinkers, they've always drawn religions, they've been mystical. It's for a reason. My ability to focus during races has increased dramatically. I mean, it, it's so much and it's, I think it showed a lot in the consistency of my racing in the last couple of years, how quickly I've been able to go from, you know, from one level to another and still kind of find room to improve. I'm still able to pull out a little bit every race and a little bit every season and a little bit every year and add to that and still find some stuff at the end where I'm like, okay, I still found a lot of places to improve and set those goals to move forward. And it's been like that because I set goals, I allow myself to fail a little bit and recognize those things. That's part of the meditation for me is, is actually like recognizing failure and going like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> like you failed, but you tried. You know, like you had a plan and you said it and you did it and you failed and that was part of the plan too. It's like failing is part of the plan. So you can go back and be like, okay, well I failed. So like now I need to reset and figure out how I can do that again. It's not like you can't do it. It's how can you do it?